So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be chatting about the 84 rated Inform Marko Arnautovic. Now as most of you know, I'm a huge fan of this guy's non-Inform card. I've used it since the start of this year's Ultimate Team and I've used it as a striker and as a cam and I've found him to be really effective in both roles. But we're not here to talk about the non-inform, we're here to talk about this upgraded inform. Now before we do that, in the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this card. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this kind of content. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get in to this inform Marko Arnautovic player review. So let's start by looking at his in-game attributes. There are a lot of green stats on show and you can clearly see why this guy is a utility attacker. 87 shot power, 84 positioning, 87 ball control, 85 in-game dribbling and 85 strength are his standout attributes. He's got a decent composure stat of 82 as well. The major negative stat on show is probably his balance of 68. The guy does stand at 6 foot 4 and he does have a 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills. So how was this guy in actual matches? He was good, he performed pretty much exactly as I expected him to perform. If any of you are put off by his pace, don't be, he's quick enough for a forward in FIFA 19. Positionally, he's great, he was regularly involved in good attacking moves and he is a great target man. He's easy to spot in game 2 because, you know, well he's 6 foot 4, he is huge. When on the ball, you can tell this guy isn't the most agile of players. He's got a good first touch and when he gets going, he dribbles pretty well. But due to his average agility, he can feel a bit heavy when trying to turn with possession. His passing for a striker, I thought was class. Like, really good. You can definitely use this guy as a centre forward or as a cam. To be fair, you can use his non-inform as a cam because I do and it works really well. Anyway, back onto this inform card. This guy picked up a couple of assists for me and created a decent amount of chances. The short pass and the link-up play was excellent and his crossing is very good as well. Shooting wise, Arnautovic can definitely put the ball in the back of the net when he wants to. His shot power is absolutely lethal and his volleys are class. His general finishing is good but it's nothing special when compared to the top Premier League strikers. With this guy standing at 6 foot 4, as you can imagine, he does win plenty of headers. His aerial ability is good and he will win a lot of aerial battles, but it does have to be said, his heading accuracy is average. I didn't really have any issues with his 79 stamina. I thought he actually coped quite well for the full 90 minutes, but if I was playing weekend league, I would probably have a striker on the bench ready to come on just in case because uh, extra time I think would be a bit too much for Arnautovic. Um, he's got good strength and he battles really well in game. He holds up the ball and protects the ball very well. It is worth noting though, he does have low balance so he can be shoved off the ball onto the floor by stronger centre backs. So do look out for that. Okay, so let's get into the summary. In form Arnautovic, how was this guy? What's good about him? Well, his positioning's great and he makes for an ideal target man. He's got good enough passing to be a creator and his shot power is lethal. The negatives of this card, well, his heading isn't as good as you'd expect it to be and his balance can definitely let him down. As a whole, I thought this Inform and Arnautovic card was solid. It's a pretty good Inform card and I definitely do feel it's worth trying out. However, I do not think it's worth its current price tag as Non-Inform and Arnautovic is very good. You've heard me mention the Non-Inform card throughout this video because I love the Non-Inform and after using the non-inform a lot and trying out the inform, I have to say I do not think the inform is worth more, like 100k more than the non-inform. So, yeah, inform and out of it is good, but he's not miles better than the non-inform and thus does not represent good value for money. So guys, those are my thoughts on this inform card. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have, please remember to leave a like on the video, comment below your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.